Gerard Barnes, Berkman Wine Cellars, uh, Southern French buyer in the UK. Hello. Uh, Berkman Wine Cellars is a 50 year old um, family owned company, mainly dealing with the Oreca category. Probably about 80% of our business is classic Oreca. Uh, the rest is off-trade, um, the Grand Surface, as you would know them, um, and uh, certain independent specialists. And we're doing more and more business these days with uh, the growing number of chain restaurants and pub chains. Half a century is a fair time to get experienced and to become a leader, isn't it? Yes, it's, uh, I think uh, it gives us a point of difference. Um, there's been a lot of consolidation in the UK wine business in the last, certainly the last 10 years, particularly the last five. And um, being an independent, family owned and still family run company, we can um, make perhaps uh, different decisions. We don't have the same shareholder pressure and we can decide which areas of um, the business we prefer to concentrate on and um, uh, touch wood, it um, appears to be uh, working. You are used to saying that you like food friendly wines, don't you? Uh, yes, with the, <clears throat> I think the vast majority of wines are probably consumed with food uh, one way or another. If you are supplying the restaurant and hotel trade then it's essential that um, they're a good match and often uh, the best wines tasted um, solo, without food, and in wine competitions don't necessarily make the best match at table. Um, being awarded um, the title of Great Value Wine Merchant four years in a row sounds like a wild dream, but you did it. At the Sommelier Wine Awards, yeah. Uh, we're delighted to have received those uh, accolades. It's um, uh, having only joined the company a year ago, at, uh, or six months ago, it, um, I can't claim credit for that, but it's great to have joined a team that have uh, put together such a tremendous portfolio of wines, particularly value, I think, is a very important thing. There are a lot of um, uh, wines pushing for, sometimes justifiably, pushing for high price points. Uh, they aren't necessarily affordable for, um, for everybody, so something that's a little bit more democratic, perhaps, is, uh, is never a bad idea. Let's talk about Vinicius. Uh, what would you say about the atmosphere here in Montpellier? I really like Vinicius. I tend to come, I think, with most of um, my previous jobs in the last uh, 10, 12 years. Um, I've always tried to attend Vinicius. It's a very good working fair. Um, it's good for business. It's early enough in the year that you can still make decisions for the rest of the year that will have a uh, proper commercial um, effect. It's great because it's it, it's not too big. It's a handy enough size that over three days I can either, as is the case this year, see uh, the majority of my supply base from the areas that I'm buying. I also look after Spain, so it's handy for, um, for Spain as well. Um, but it's a real showcase for the best of the south of France. But I think Vinny Sud is a good um, area to visit four wines uh, and particularly you know being the home of or not far from Picpoul de Pinay which is uh, one of the rig um, fashions in the UK and growing elsewhere uh, these days trying to secure supply is always um, an issue so making sure we've got enough keeping our relationships with our suppliers nice and strong um, it's all important but uh, I wouldn't necessarily come looking for new fashions particularly, but it's always interesting to see what is new and usually after a few days at Vinnie Sue go home with some either new suppliers or new ideas or maybe see a, you know, wines that you haven't um, had on my radar before. Thanks for coming Mr. Barnes. My pleasure. <laughs>